I like to read some interesting books. I think the books can teach you something because it's a story of someone's life. When I heard you were a fan of reading, I assumed, like most of the other drivers, it would be something like Fifty Shades of Grey, not Tolstoy and Hemingway and all these other... Well, I read also Fifty Shades of Grey, but... Uh, but Who did you yeah. learn more from, Tolstoy or E.L. James? Depends on uh, which uh, area. <laughs> his excitement and joy and his tenderness for Fro Fro grew stronger and stronger. I think that's the easiest way to learn something in the books, actually. If, if it really interests me, uh, then I'll try, I'll try to finish it. But are you aware that it makes you a bit different to other racing drivers? We all have our own hobbies, uh, small passions and so on. So I ask my parents what they used to read. Uh, and they, them being Russians, they suggested me to read uh, some Russian classics. Ronsky now had the lead as he had wished and as Kord had advised. Well, whatever it is you are doing, it appears to be working because he got that sensational result in Hungary. Danny Kvyat finishes in second, his first ever podium. The 21-year-old Russian has brought the Red Bull home in second place. Yeah, it was a good race, you know. We played well, uh, not with the best cards uh, regarding my side of the garage. And uh, in the end, the result matters and we got that P2. That performance in Hungary, showed real confidence from you and there have been peaks and troughs this year and it seems to just be getting better and better. Also last year I had a confident year but for one reason and another uh, there, it was fading away a little bit. You've got many strings to your bow, we saw you do some juggling there as well, why the juggling? One day I just picked up uh, three, three I think uh, mandarins or something and I tried to juggle, I didn't manage and uh, some of my friends did manage and I said, OK, I want to try to learn this and now I learned it. So now we use it with my trainer sometimes as a training element as well. It's mainly about uh, hand-eye coordination, so that's why we do it uh, for warm-up as well. It's a useful thing. You've actually scored eight more points than your teammate in the last five races. That says a lot, I feel. Yeah, you know, me and Daniel, we've been pushing each other well, I think, uh, giving enough motivation in these tricky times uh, for me and for Daniel because, you know, we. We always want to fight for higher places, higher positions. And what about the relationship with Ricardo? I mean, you've known him a long time, haven't you? Yeah, that's the thing. It helps as well that uh, our relationship, I think, is very professional. I think we will always uh, have this, uh, this uh, respect for each other, which is important inside the team. And it's easier for the guys inside the team to work uh, in a more relaxed atmosphere. That's what we are trying to do as well, to push the team forward together. And the team is relying on us. Let's look ahead to Spa now. What can you do here in Belgium? I personally always been um, this track has been good to me, so I hope it will not change this weekend. And uh, as always, you know, we will do our best to maybe get uh, back uh, there on the podium again. Who knows? Well, Danny, this year has started small for you and it's getting big. So a little present from the BBC. Here is the big one. 1,400 pages of War Oof. and Peace. Wow, that's a lot. That's Enjoy. Pretty. I think we know what you're going to be doing tonight and yeah. tomorrow night and the night after. Spending some time. For, uh, right. for a few days ahead. Enjoy it. <laughs> Cheers. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Cheers. Cheers.